So, this is definitely our first time loading into X4 in the last hour. Definitely. Definitely our first time going over here. Oh, right. I was wondering what was going on. There's the slowdown course now. Now, we didn't talk to Hello this there. guy. So, there's something you want to talk to us about? You will find that a new item of research is available. Given what we have learned from our teleportation research, I believe we can apply it on a grand scale. This experiment will result in the relocation of this station to another position within this sector. That is, unless we run into some disastrous issue, of course. Hello there. Okay, the actual troubling thing. Welcome, my dear assistant. <clears throat> I am so grateful you were able to join me. I must inform you of some very strange goings on. The asteroid at the heart of this HQ does not seem to be an ordinary space rock. Oh my god. Maybe that's why they built the HQ around it. What do you mean? Well, to be brief, it is emanating. I shall have to study further, but there are distinct signals permeating through the structure. Indeed. As far as I can tell, the asteroid is some sort of mineral-based brain. A brain of considerable power. And it seems to be reaching out, trying to connect with something. That is an excellent question, Assistant. The signals seem to be reaching out in quite random directions. However, there is something else. Beyond the Animus Sora, something seems to be signaling back. I need you to investigate. By all accounts, there should not be anything notable in that location. Jolly good. However, there is more. Your abandoned vessel retrieval has certainly had an impact on the asteroid. By passing the telemetry through the asteroid brain, we were able to generate new research opportunities. Please do be alert to any more such artifacts that could have a connection with the asteroid. Okie dokie. And actually on that note, um, we actually have the Cutlass research done and we're just waiting on scanning arrays for the Sapporo. Sapporo. <clears throat> Who's that fella? Uh, do you want spoilers? <laughs> Sir. It's not a huge spoiler, but if you've never played the game. So he's a Boron, which is one of the races in the galaxy, but uh, they've been kind of uh, out of the loop. What the? Oh, it's the F. Or it's the H. Jesus Christ. I was like, what Striders at half health? Um, <clears throat> what was I about to say there? Wait, he said beyond the Animus Zora? Sorry, I'm completely uh, all over the place right now. There we go. Oh, this is probably a north gate into this whole area. Okay. Um, that's fine. Bear with me. Do that. Ides Vanguard was destroyed in Morningstar 3. Mm. Morningstar 3? Really? My trader was destroyed. Oh my god. Anyway. <clears throat> this game looks a little too complicated for me, so I'm going to get it now. Ah, it just takes a bit of getting used to.
Oh yeah, there's a brand new tutorials and everything. We might uh Entering system, morning star. Take a look at them at some stage. So the mod's definitely not working. Alright. Oh, I might need to build a new one. That could be it. Yeah. Well, we are going to build a new one, so it doesn't really matter. Where is this raider? He's probably left already. Cheeky fecker. Five. Okay, that means we transfer crew from here. Thanks for your help. To the Sahara. And now um, we'll be able to retrieve these guys. It's all single player. Yep. It is all single player. Like, there's plenty you can do. I know it, it looks kind of daunting, and it can be, but um, I'm just going to move closer to the other ones. Um, so they're closer. But if you take it in like light bites, it's not too bad, do you know? On those games. Oh, there he is. I see him. Estrel, Vanguard. Nope, that's not what killed him. Captain's log. We received transmission onto the Enterprise that a crazy drunk Irishman had taken over a whole armada, as well as the control of multiple stations of their faction. Indeed. Up snow, how's it going, dude? How are things? This is very Star Trek. We're just res rescuing um, some poor unfortunates. <clears throat> are those transport pods ever going to land on the ship? That's the one downside of rescuing pilots. They're they're actually not pods. They're actually spacesuits. Spacesuit. This is our, our crew that bailed out of the uh, the merchant ship over there, but they only come in one at a time. And with this being a modded ship, I don't know where the uh, entrance hatch is actually. Where is the entrance hatch on this? Please tell me it's not on the bottom. Oh God. It should be behind the bridge there. But that guy Space looks like suit. he's, um... Oh no, I think it is on the bottom, isn't it? Is it once you're having in the... 50? Oh, no worries, dude. I don't get many comments, so I get to respond to them all. <laughs> as long as they make sense. Where the... F You're going to need to make him a uh, uh, barrel roll, right? Barrel roll is one thing, but it won't affect that guy because he's in our orbit. So what I can do. Sir. Is, uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. I can use the spacesuit. 
Oh, no, it is underneath it. What the fuck was that? Excelsior class. Oh, it's cute. Okay, that's fine. But that's where it is. Yeah, this won't work. Probably, because... Why would it... But what the hell was that? Oh, well, sorry, crew. I am busy. I'll send someone to pick you up. I will actually send someone to pick them up. And uh, da, 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 da. we're in Morning Star 3 here. You're full. You have a person. You have a person. Go. Maybe, yeah, you would. Especially when we're about to jump through a gate. Entering system. I take last choice. Maybe we can keep mind everything more or less. Oh, I know. I also have all this. Not worried about them. Um, right, we have the thing set anyway, so let's just go. Oh, wait, that space suit is still uh, still coming. How far away is space he? Space suit. One point seven kilometers away. Hold on. Let's get him in here. See how he's not locked in the ship's orbit right now, which is great. Kind of finagle it. Hey, bags. Oh, I got the game and I started. Sorry, I didn't even miss. I missed that. First, as a minor to learn the game, the controls are kind of awkward to me. Yeah, they they are awkward to start with. They're they're different to a lot of the other games. That's just the way it is. They have their own system. Have you gone through the tutorials? Heard good things about the, the new tutorials. Oh you don't have a numpad for your camera controls. Oh. Oh my. He <laughs> did the basic, basic tutorial. Gotcha. Now where are you going? Buddy, don't make me fly off again. Come on. Yeah, it ta like it takes a bit. Of I'm, I'm used to it. So like, you know, hitting shift space to come in and out of direct control mode and stuff. There's little things like that you kind of get used to. Where are you trying to get in? Uh, see, I don't think you can get in. N. Also, one of my turrets set to attack fighters first. That's fine. M. Are the base game ships cool enough? They, they are, actually. Like, they're not bad. There's nothing wrong with them. But I've been playing since release, and I've played all the other X games, so... So like base game, that's a base game. Scout, heavy fighter for one of the races. 
interceptor kind of thing. Uh, the Nova there. Quasar. These are all base game. There's the fighters. Light courier. Medium. Then you've got all those flashy blue bits are like weapons and stuff. A little Corvette frigate. Uh, gunboat. Like there, there are plenty of ships in the base game. Interacting with the verse and exposure. Uh, and some YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's fair enough. But give it time, man. It's a slow burner. Space suit. Oh, you're. No. You're getting left behind. Either you're getting left behind or I'm firing a torpedo at you. I do have to laugh at the view screen though. <laughs> like, this is what it would be like for um, an actual Star Trek captain because they're so far away from the damn thing. Do you have any questions anyway? Um, well, let us know. If it's just the controls, they are funky. Unfortunately, that. Oh, Jesus. Did we not kill all of you guys? It's brought in more. Wow. Yeah. Xenon have just been going nuts. We do not tolerate your actions. You'd want to. I something but I don't know what <laughs> engine turret Shield generator turret. More DACA is needed, I think. Does he still moving even though he has no engine? Tiki. Lock him, lock him. Come on, there we go. Set up um, v. groups for my secondary weapons. Turret. I actually 
don't care about that P attacking me. Shield generator. I just want to take out its large turrets. Turret, shield generator. I know it has large turrets. Turret, sheep turret. The one thing is, is that it needs. Um, I've been watching play heavily modded games so much of this is not the base game with or with any DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know how to sell the ore and random stuff I've skipped up from combat zone. Um, okay. So is it actual ore that you've got? So if you pop into your map. Now you can do it a, a number of ways. You can uh, open up your list here and say I'm going to go through this very basically. You can find an ore refinery, which will buy the ore. But you also want to open up your trading tab. And then up here, um, this is kind of interesting here. If you open up your filters here. Um, you can kind of go through the tabs here. So this is your mining tab your other tab so this is the options for your other section there's no real options for mining tab really except on and off but you come in here you can go add remove wares and let's say it's or click or click ok and then if you zoom out here this will tell you that uh, this station here is is buying or and this um close this and close this this works by uh, where you're zoomed. Oh, that's a capital weapon. Hi. Shield generator. Maybe I should have paused while doing that. shirt V turret V right, he's not getting shield, shield back generator he just destroyed his large shield generator Hail Poppy! Yes. You are not seeing things. V. They finally did it, the madmen. Modding community have started putting in Star Trek ships, starting with the Excelsior. The NX01 is in, but it's a different mod author and of a different uh, type, let's say. Sounds are great. Oh, wait, there's more. about to get a fleet of these anyway sorry what i was saying well i was rudely interrupted by a xenon <clears throat> uh, you'll see this box around the screen here that's where it's taking into account for this and that's kind of focused on your zoom so if i zoom in you'll see that the box has uh, changed and it's like it's not taking into account over here in this one so it's brought up a second window here 
So you could sell ore for 43 credits to a station over here, and uh, if you want to, then you can just zoom in and go like, oh, that's that, that's that ore refinery there. Or you could sell it for 57 credits over here, and that's that ore refinery here. So then you can just, uh, you know, set guidance to there, dock there and sell it. So then when you dock, you'll get the, you get a menu like this, and it'll have trade there, and you, that's that's how you sell it. It's a very, very basic uh, rundown of the uh, trading. <laughs> hey, did you kill the eye? Um, for the stuff you pick up from battle, I. any station you dock at, go to the go to the, uh, the elevator and go to the trader's corner and they'll buy any of this stuff. Well, they'll buy some of this stuff uh, for certain things, like I'm picking up missiles there. You can sell them to, to a shipyard when you're refitting the ship. Turret. Stuff like that. Um, free ports will buy some of the AGI stuff that's illegal. Or black marketeers will do the same, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's where you can sell that, and that's where you can make. That's where you can sell crystals as well. Turret. Shield jet shield generator I shield generator Pentor, he's obviously focusing me because he's not firing any of his large guns at you. <laughs> You're time to shine, buddy. Turret, shield generator, turret. Shield jet turret, shield turret, shield generator, shield turret, shield jet turret, turret, shield turret. So the likes of this, right? It should prioritize what I can see. Do you know, having to cycle through everything on the feckin' ship. So it's, it aggravates me so much. But they're all dead, Grant. They're not. That's not good. They're not dead. But like, it's within my range. And I can see it because it's... Yeah, I can see that because it's not shaded. So like, that should be a priority for my targeting. The big weapon that can kill me that I can see. Shield generate engine. Shield jet turret engine turret. Instead, it's targeting everything at the back end of the ship that I don't want to go near. Turret. And it, de it defaults to Shield them as generator. well. Just, just. Turret. Shield I. Shield generator. <laughs> That's a mod I hope someone does that like we can get a sub menu to target different things on the ship. Shield generator. In a magpie miner, I hope to get uh, into a Cantonius. Have like a scout for magpie. Oh yeah. I. Again, are you enjoying the mining? Turret. Uh, something I didn't know about I. mining. Shield generator. Is that uh, when you are? Uh, turret. So you want to go into like shift two mode for the shield generator. Turret. Shield jet turret. Just sensor mode, basically. Shuyaku. Semi.
Yeah, but um, so when you're in that mode, the uh, shift two mode, it's actually there's more information there because when you get close to the asteroid, you'll see um, little blue flecks or turret. Kinda, Different things on the asteroid, you target them and you'll get more out of it quicker. Where are, oh look, yeah. Shield generator. No, don't want to target the shield generator, I want to target the graviton turret that's firing at me. But I can't do that manually, I guess. Except this way. Little niggles, so if you have um I said niggles. Uh, if you have a target and you're looking at it, say from this view, these turrets are inside that box, so I can't target them separately. If they were these turrets, I could pick them. But, uh, nope. So I need to go here, target that turret. Target the other large turret. There we go. Shoot that. Shoot it. There we go. Some work having to go up to the, the rocks. Are you using travel drive? Travel drive straight in. I don't think your magpie will even break the rocks, so you could probably just <laughs> use the silly emergency stuff. Oh, going to each rock and out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what's required, right? Alright, there's the eye down. I remember half an hour ago when I said, oh yeah, let's go do the experimental shuttle mission. Look at this madness. There's one... Two, three, four, five, six. Um. There's six fresh Xenon Rex. And like, it's not too long ago that we helped uh, defeat the last Xenon push. They've already wiped out that station. If you can go for silicon, because you'll you'll make more per load, and uh, if you're doing the thing where the little uh, things come up in the rock, you should be able to mine it pretty quickly. And then you just do the same thing. You uh, go into your map, select silicon on the trade re uh, thing, or just find a factory that you know of. And then when you're flying around the rocks, if you see a little blinking white light, that will kind of show you where the crystals are. And you can find the little crystal cluster on the rock and mine that, and then you sell them at the trader corner. Just if, um, like if you happen to be mining a rock where you see one of them, it's just a little bit of extra income. Shut off. No. Um, my rear torpedoes, I was hoping I could lock one on. 
Wait, there's another Entry one in system. here? Silent witness. Dude, the Xenon have gone insane. Turret. I like it. In the star in the recent Star Wars mod, I haven't played um, Interworlds in a little while. I'm waiting for the update. Because we're doing our Imperial run next. They should be there. No reason they shouldn't be. Oh damn it, I overheated the launcher. Shield generator. K. Shield generator. K turret. Target that big turret there. Look at that one right there. Not the guns on the back. Not the shield generator that I can't see. Target the big turret right there that's shooting at me. God, it did it. Hold on. Luckily, the Xenon were having a terrible time targeting me. There we go. Okay. So he's moving around to get his two. Yep, them two. He's two belly turrets. Well, he had two belly turrets. I was thinking that I'd love to see a game like X4, but based like on the oceans, but like, you know, semi-historical factions, and you could build up uh, like factories and stuff. Like a World War II era, you know? Kind of like from the depths, but with the like the uh, depth and so on of X4. Couldn't remember was there turret shield generator. A little bit of punch through on this. No. He's trying to run, but bless his heart, eh? Target the other Turret, large shield shield generator. generator. He's, there we go. Okay. What are they targeting? I'm gonna turn off my turrets. Now they're back on. I didn't do it in F4 mode though, so... I 
was gonna say, did he detonate? No, he didn't. Oh, man. Right, we can do it in slow mo. Totally forgot. Honestly, yeah, it is pretty well balanced, yeah. Like the, the phasers, obviously, they're kind of hit scan. They're not crazy powerful. Thanks for your help. <laughs> no, it doesn't have shield arcs, unfortunately. Can someone please remaster Starfleet Command? Please. Pretty please. Starfleet Command 2 Orion Pirates was the one I started out on. Okay, um, we were going to go do something. And I, I know it's unlike me, but we're getting sidetracked here. Danger. Also, we need more phasers. I know, I know, I know, I'm saving for the, the wharf and everything. But come on. Um, yep, yep. Nope, I don't want the pulses, I want the beams, because they make the proper sound. Um, that's all fine. Yeah, look at that. So that the mod is working, because it has a landing pad there. That's perfect. So it's only going to be the one that we're on that has the issue. Yeah, we're going to get two more of them. All right. Cool. Lovely. Rock dog. That's... Thanks for your help. How's it going? <laughs> the what generation ship is this one? I think it's just the standard Excelsior, isn't it? Like probably next generation. Entering system, rocket <clears throat> center alpha. Thank you for the follow, Rugger. Sorry, caught me off guard. It's very close to uh, the name of a friend of ours. I'm still on YouTube. Oh, fair play. Thank you. This is one of the movies. Um, is that the Wrath of Khan? I think it might be the Wrath of Khan. Well, yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the one, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and then the Excelsior refit is the like nice one, you know. Entering system right promise. Oh, I wish, man. I wish. All I wanted the Burrell and uh, the Derelicts. You know, not asking for much, right? Delta still in service? Yeah, it was in the, uh, the Dominion Wars and everything, right?
They need a total converge for Star Trek for this. Oh man. There's so many hours that goes into that though. But yes, it would be amazing. That's um Entering system, Yanamos Zura. I know I was kinda of joking about date you assist. Uh, I see you have found your way to a Yanamas Zura. I have my suspicions that the dormant gate may have reopened. Please investigate. Okay, we'll do that. How about a cube? That wasn't your best move. Mercury, Vanguard. Oh, a Cyan Raiders. Hi. Um. Yeah, I was going to say, I know I was joking about the Warhammer license but how's the star trek license looking also uh, we need names guys names we need three names for the excelsiors Names I can use on Jump unknown on uh, YouTube and so on. <laughs> My word. You have indeed detected a newly active jump gate. I believe further exploration is in order. Exploration, you say? Like final frontier? Would be better. Oh, an actual like licensed Star Trek game with X4 mechanics. <clears throat> right, like take this map for example. Right, uh, like the Klingons would be down here, Romulans, uh, Federation, uh, the Cardassians are down around here, and then like the Dominion up here in a locked off area, you know, through a wormhole. And then you could have all of the little uh, sub factions if you wanted to, you know, just saying. Have a clear sky. Oh, they'd never be able to do that with the. Okay, Yorktown is in both. Behemoth, um, Behemoth is the name of a destroyer in the game. So we'll call this the Yorktown, because I know the Yorktown. Um, Persephone and Norway. All right. Wait, is... Is it still, um... The Hammer of Lud. <laughs> is it the USS? And what is the prefix in um, Star Trek? It is USS, isn't it? Okay. Um, Yorktown. The Antigone equipment dock is under attack. Interesting. 20 seconds, we're going to have two more.
Half a group. <clears throat> Uh, game. You want to update the old menu there? It's having a, a tough time, is it? Oh, well, they're undocking, but yeah, okay, they they won't transfer until they undock. Joining squad. There you go. I'll tell you what. We'll put in Mintaka, right? Squad. <laughs> Entering system, Mitsuno's Remembrance. In the name of the Grandmother, I welcome you, stranger. Perhaps you can visit me at my station. I hope you will excuse me. We do not get many visitors. I am Quetanot Gantelios. I would dearly love to tell my friends I have met an outsider. Hey, Pinche. There is um, a ship mod so far, yeah. You did not steal those ship? No, not at all. Above, if you think you're going to put the hours into the game, the, the DLCs are, are pretty worth it, to be fair. And they add to the galaxy as a whole. They add, most of them add their own little campaigns too. Um, and they're all on sale till uh, like the 11th or something, right? Uh, Fiend, if you know, it's just it's a ship mod. It's just the one ship so far, just the Excelsior. Um, I'll take it. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking a name from everyone. So we said Yorktown, Persephone. And then Mintaka. Didn't update. Okay. Uh, Mintaka, all right. All right, and they're on the way to us. Uh, the litigious rodent did get destroyed at some point in Hittic, uh, or in Tharkas Cascade. Uh, what I need to do is get you to. Uh, oh, I need to give you a crew member. That would work. And you can talk with the Mintaka. We'll use the Mintaka as our main ship because it has the dock, the Orktown doesn't. So that we can put um, a fighter on it. Let's get the H back over to Heretic's End then. Oh, you don't have crew either, that's right. Persephone, you can transfer some crew over to the H. Oh, you do have crew, you just don't have a captain. That's weird, it's going to do the thing now. Then I go to the H instead, and we'll cancel that. Go to the H, promote best crew person. Wow. Best is in air quotes. To be honest, I'm not that much of a fan of X4's DLC concept, uh, as all of them just slap new sectors in their respective factions at one edge of the main game galaxy and have one or two connections, and that's it. But their interconnection between DLC content is why they all feel like the dead end of the universe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. To me, like they add in. Um, like, yeah, ideally, would have loved all the factions to be in the, the base game 